Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hello everybody, I was in the kitchen cutting <laughs> up potatoes. Clint's making dinner. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Yes, it is Sunday afternoon and I have him in there slaving away while I'm playing making videos. <laughs> it's all about Shell today. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, guys, I tell you. Oh, we have had a really nice weekend. We've been resting, and, you know, um, if you've seen some of my videos, I got quite a lot done, like up in Etsy and stuff. And I'm still working on the uh, digitals. I have a message out to Miss Gail, and she said she'd help me with that. So, hopefully those won't take very long. And we're just going to kind of play today. Now this is inspired by Wendy of, is it Wendy's Junk Journals or something like that? You guys know who I'm talking about. She has that really cute Leo from, and she's in Canada. Anyways, um, I can't remember what her name is. You know how it is. You get on TV and you're like, uh, <laughs> video. Anyways, this is from Wendy. Uh, I was... Um, kind of looking on Pinterest just to kind of get an idea for you guys today. And I think my creative brain kind of shut down. <laughs> you guys know how that is. So anyways, what I have here is, um, I got this, got hair all over it, and kind of put all my stuff in here. I know I want my stamps today. And a few other items. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. Maybe these. I don't know. So I did put some flat back curls on Etsy. If you guys are still looking for those, of course you can buy like you know ten thousand of them or whatever it is on Amazon, and that's always linked below. But if you want a smaller <laughs> amount of them. I put 10 of each of these colors on Etsy, and I still think we have 9 left or something. So anyways, okay, we're going to get started. Um, if you guys have been with or have watched her very often, let's go ahead and use these. I don't know, my brain just came up with a brilliant idea. That's definitely unusual for her. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, I just want everyone to know, I was been resting, but I've also been working my butt off for those on those ink blenders. So, I just wanted everyone to know. I have been. Yeah, Clint's been doing ink blenders. Look who it is. Cubby. I don't want that dumb cat. Don't Cubby. <laughs> there are, is no room for you, Bubba. Where are you going to lay? Uh, here. Oh. <laughs> he has been loving on me for hours, guys. And Daddy's in the kitchen. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do with you? <laughs> oh, anyways, okay. My thought was to... I uh, wonder where my thing is. Hi, Bubba. What are you doing? You saying hi to all your friends? Saying hi to all your friends? So, anyways, all you need for this is a couple of punches, circle punches. Um, this one is one and a half. And this one I think is a two, yeah. And I will link these below for you guys if you need them. Uh, if you have scallop circle punches, that would work. If you have dies, you know, that would work too. I tell you, he's just like, Mama, Mama, I love you. So, anyways, um, what I'm going to do is have Cubby's little tail here. <laughs> So what she did, Wendy's, Wendy did, is she cut out some circles. And these are really small, but that's okay. We can do small ones. And I thought it might be really nice just to do um, index cards because, you know, they're, already, they're a good weight and these are already coffee dyed. So if you have Windex cards, I'm just going to cut out several circles. And you need two for each one of these. 
Oh goodness, here comes Sophia. <laughs> uh, you guys been missing the cats lately? They think you have. <laughs> uh, Sophia is trying to fit in my box. There she is. Okay. <laughs> Sophia is sitting in the box, so. Uh, they've, they were running around and um, Clint slept in for his nap. Uh, you know, he tries to take a nap every day that we're home because it helps with his fibromyalgia and stuff. Helps him recover. And so, uh, his little guy hadn't woke him up yet. And I was like, uh, you know, where is he? So I had to go wake up the little guy so he could wake Clint up. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see how this video turns out. Anyways, you want to have your circle. Go ahead and just cut this kind of straight across. And that is going to be your opening for your tag. So what we're doing is just making little tags. And then you can go ahead and either punch a little hole or a little thumb hole here or just kind of you know freehand it which is kind of what I'm doing let's see anyways <laughs> I don't know freehand and that's the right way to go okay so we're just gonna do that <laughs> Oh, guys, this video might be awful. Who knows? So, and then what she did is she, I think she went ahead and did this. It's been a while since I saw the video. But today when I saw um, it on Pinterest, I was like, oh, that's a good idea, you know. And these are kind of small, you know. If I felt like <laughs> <laughs> pulling out my uh, dies then I would use those and kind of make it a little bit bigger so and then all I'm going to do is just a little bit of art glitter glue around the edges and go here I don't know I think he's behind the TV oh. anyways that's pretty much the gist of it sorry you can even see what I was doing I forgot you guys are still looking at Sophia <laughs> You guys know how it is though with these cats <laughs> and if you don't surprise so anyways then what she would do is she would use the smaller one which is one and a half inch and I can't really get to anything because my cat let's see if this one <laughs> okay he's gone hi so that helps a little bit but oh god and this kind of has I'm just kind of showing you the gist of it and will fit in there pretty kind of ish maybe I need a smaller one <laughs> uh, I really should have rethought this video anyways that's what we're going to do so just be patient with me because I'm really not sure how these are going to turn out so and we might just add these but I saw these before she laid in the box and I was thinking you know that would be kind of cool to kind of have something like that down here and I really like that these are alteration tags and I either got them from uh, Denise at a tattered dream or I picked might have picked them up from Diane Hubert and Diane H both of them are linked below but I thought this might be kind of fun to decorate as well so we're just going to kind of play see what we can come up with um see if any you know <laughs> oh you guys i tell you we love you guys we were just clint and i were talking about how we have the best subscribers and i know a lot of people say that but i really feel like ours are the best <laughs> i just love you guys we just love you guys 
So now what I'm going to do is I really wanted some like music paper. Oh, oh I feel man. like I have some opening now. Hi, Butterball. <laughs> No oh, I tell ya. Okay, so, I do have some music paper here. I know. And I really didn't look at it. It's all kind of written on, which is fine. So, we're making ribs in the pressure cooker, or in the Instapot. And then Clint started making, um mashed potatoes so should have a pretty good dinner here in a little bit I was going to try to do the video but I just didn't have it in me yeah Clem was going to work on a video for you guys but he's just not really he's really not feeling very well and so I told him I can make one I just hadn't really planned on it and you know sometimes you kind of when you don't plan on it it's kind of hard to <laughs> make it work you know so what I'm gonna do is I still have that one piece kind of left over oh that'll work and then I'm just going let's trim that down because this was smaller and I thought you know that might be kind of fun just to add a little bit of interest on here but yeah Clint's been working or er, hurting pretty badly the last couple of weeks but his back's really been hurting yeah, it, it kind of worries me because it usually don't last that long yeah so he needs prayers so we really appreciate that for you guys praying for him and his sore back but that's kind of fun I kind of like that and what it is it's just a little you know decoration or whatever like I said I think ooh I like this side better <laughs> Yeah, I really like that side. We're going to use that one. But um, I think a kid or something had this book. So we're just going to kind of play with that. If you don't have the alteration tags, you know, think about just a plain tag. And maybe you can either decoupage or stamp on it or something like that. Or, you know, just a plain tag. It doesn't have to be anything special. Again, we are still working on our Build Your Stash series, and I'm just kind of, kind of messing around today. Like I said, I didn't have, you know, that big of a, a strong of an idea. <laughs> so I think I'm going to put some paper or something behind this as well. Um, I think that'd be kind of fun right here, and it kind of would match a little bit so let's just kind of rip this down but we have had a really nice weekend it's been a blessing and it, yeah we got a lot of stuff on Etsy and Clint got a lot of ink blenders done and he's a he's a little bit behind but you guys he's really trying to get caught up and working hard on those so I feel horrible I just look, I just don't like being that far behind That's what's yeah really some of that. some of them are way longer than four weeks but he's gonna get you caught up and if you have any questions about your ink blender then let us know so I think we still have 30 or more on oh, the list <laughs> sorry I didn't mean to say that out loud That's all right. <laughs> Oh, great yeah. Well, and I know tomorrow we have, we're going back to Durango, and uh, we have a pretty busy day, and of course it's Monday, so you know, Mondays are always crazy for us. So, I think I'm going to, she's sitting with Daddy now, so I have a little bit of time to... <laughs> I'm getting kisses. Daddy's getting Sophia kisses. She also gives me, we have our Eskimo kisses too. Just so yeah, sweet. they have their little Eskimo kisses where they kind of butt noses. <laughs> did you ever do that video of me feeding her? I did, and a lot of people have uh, responded. Which video was that? Um, I don't know. Probably Friday. 
Okay, that's kind of fun. So, let's see if there's anything else, you know, right off the bat that I want to put on there. I kind of like that. Sometimes you don't want to, you know, do a whole lot or anything. And I'm just going to put some glue just on two sides so it's a little tuck. I'm going to show you how to do one of these, like on a planer, more plain um, thing. <laughs> I tell you guys, it's just, yeah. So that's a little bit big, but I think I'm just going to put that in there. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and get another one. And we'll trim it out. I love using, you know, the music paper and stuff. I just think it's really fun addition to our junk journals. I love like dictionary paper, anything like that. And I cleaned up my table. What? So I, now I can't find anything. <laughs> but that's just how it is. I feel better about how my house looks, so that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, so that could go in there. <laughs> Sophia. She grabbed my hand. How funny. Such so I think I'm just going to leave this kind of, this little thing blank. Uh, if I get up in a little bit, I'll see if I can find just a smaller. I think a one inch would fit better in here. And I know I don't have a circle, but I do have... Actually, let me go get that because it's not going to fit right and I'm not going to be happy with it. So, I'm going to go get like a scallop one inch if I have one. So, I'm going to go look and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. Um, I guess I don't have like a one inch or one and a quarter inch. So, I pulled out my one and a half inch scallop. And I pulled out a two inch and then a two oh two and a half inch. So I thought, well, if I use the two and a half inch, it should work well with the one and a half inch. So this one we're just gonna leave it as is and see what we can do. But this is kind of fun, I think. And then you know, you can always put some kind of like a Tim Holtz doll or something like that, which I had. What now? Look at my Tim Holtz dolls. Oh, I don't know where I put them. <laughs> and I already got yelled at once. So probably don't want to get up again. Okay, I'm gonna go look for my Tim Holtz dolls. I know this is gonna be an annoying video, but I'll be right back. Okay, I did find a one and a quarter inch punch. Clint used to use these for our ink blenders that we sell, and I wasn't sure though. I was afraid it's really dull. Yeah, I might have broken it. I'm not sure. <laughs> you may have broken it. But let's try it and just see if, you know, I can get it to work. Because I would be happier if I could, you know, get the right size. But, no, I'm just trying to get it to... Yeah. Oh, it might have worked. Yeah. Good enough. It's still, you know, not perfect because it is really dull. But I think I got it enough where I can trim it up. There we go. Oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> oh, you guys. I tell ya. Okay, so I have my... It, this is from the Paper Studios. So this is from Hobby Lobby. And if you see Miss Gail, she has tons of things like this for her ephemera and stuff. And I thought I might see if I have, like, a paper doll that would work. I ordered some more goodies the other day, <laughs> like I need more goodies for, um, let's see, let me do maybe a bigger one, for, like from Tim Holtz and stuff, and I thought that might be kind of fun, you know, like butterflies, things like that, ephemera, so I'm kind of anxious to get that. 
Just to have something else to play with, you know? Sophia loves to bite myself. Just yeah, Sophia loves, you know, she's our little girly girl, and she loves to bite Daddy and <laughs> things like that. Oh, that is so cute. I love that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that on here. It's just these two cute little girls. So, I, you know, one thing I always, always, always have problems with in my stash is I hardly ever have... Um, tags and I don't know why I don't know if I just use them so quickly so that was one thing I was kind of looking for you know when I started this but I saw that circle and then it just kind of went from there so let's kind of add a little bit of color I do have uh, this this is my kitty cat uh, treat box and they get plenty of treats we go through like two of these a week no we don't either I'm, I'm kidding we only go through like one and a half what is that? <laughs> uh, kitty treats oh yeah <coughs> I buy five a month so I guess we do go about one that's kind of sad if you think about it, but, you know, they deserve it. Plus, Clint says I always over-give mine. But when he goes and lays down with the cats, he gives them treats. And so, his cats will get, like, treats three or four times a day. It ain't no three or four <laughs> times a day. It's twice. A <laughs> bull smoke. Give me a break. His yeah. cats get treats. I treat twice a day and mine only get it once so oh, I, have wow. to, I have to make it up for them <laughs> so I think I'm going to do that that is so cute and because it's kind of plain on the back you can definitely you know journal on the back if you don't like that you can put coffee dyed paper on it but But I did pretty much, you know, rest this weekend as far as making videos. So we just kind of had, you know, I had some videos I had made earlier. Then I did our how I'm filming video, how I film, things like that. And hopefully that helped you guys. But, you know, I didn't have to think too much this weekend, which was nice because my brain needed a break. I already said something. Oh, did you? Well, <laughs> it needs all the break it can get. <laughs> all the rest it can get. Yeah, it huh? needs all the rest it can get. I tell you, some days it really does, too. So, I think I'm just going to put, like, do I want a blue ribbon? Yeah, I think I do. I, I like the thickness of this, so let's just pop this blue ribbon in here. And then we will have a journaling tag which is nice I'm reading comments I tell you your dumb cat sure does seem to get all the love and Cubby, praise and Cubby is very loved <laughs> Clint's really jealous because you guys don't ever talk about how much you love his cat that's okay Cubby's the best Cubby's got the most personality don't you guys agree not the brightest though that's <laughs> He, he, re he really isn't the brightest, but he's adorable. That's what makes him cute. That's what makes him cute. He does have like a chronic ear issue, so I really need to take him in and see if they can't figure out what's going on to the vet because his ear bothers him a lot. So what I'm doing now is I really like to, this goes back to my card making day, where, you know, you'd make tags and stuff and then kind of um, put two ribbons on. Sorry, I just quit talking. A lot of times, I have to tell you, uh, Clint and I, 
if you've watched for a while, you know that we kind of finish each other's sentences. Well, when we're talking to each other, we don't, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, we just know what the other person is saying, and it's always been that way with us. So my sister would come over, and Clint and I would be like, so do you want to go eat at Thing or something? And, you know, I know what he's talking about, and he knows what he's talking about. And, you know, we do that all the time, and <laughs> we didn't realize, we didn't pay that much attention to it. It was just like, so did you pay Thing? And he's like, yeah, I paid it or whatever. And um, Ow. that's just how we would communicate, you know, that's just what we've done. And my sister's like, you know, would you just finish a sentence? <laughs> because she's following our conversation and she can't understand where we're going with it. So if we get really bad, that's why. <laughs> but, I mean, that's just what we do is, you know. Always have. We always have from, like, day one. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, how we got together. Do you guys want to hear that today? How long has it been? Oh, it's been about mm, 30 minutes or so. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, how we got together. Uh, I was going through a divorce, and suddenly this really cute guy comes, and I had decided I am not getting married again, because my mother had been married seven or eight times, and I did not want to deal with that. And um, <clears throat> so I, I even told my mom, you know, I'm sorry, but I don't want to be like you. And because um, I didn't want to, you know, go through the pain and stuff that she went through. And so I decided I wasn't getting married again. And then this guy comes in the store, which is Clint. And he had been driving this really nice. Um, vehicle and he was so proud of it and you could tell he was proud of it and so I'm talking to him and the next time I talk to him he's driving like this piece of junk vehicle and I'm like but what happened to your nice vehicle and he says oh well I hit a deer and he almost totaled it how much it did like eight thousand eight thousand dollars in damage to his brand new car and so that kind of got us to talking and I kept saying telling my best friend I am NOT getting married again ever and but things kept you know popping up and I'd like her she and I would be out shopping and I'd say oh you know when I get married again I'm gonna wear this dress and then I'm like what where did <laughs> where did that come from so um, just odd things like that and Clint had come in and you know we just started talking and stuff and he had came in to where I worked I worked at a gas station and he said hey you know I have been looking for someone to a uh, lady to be my bowling partner and I'm going to use the 2.5 on this one and I said oh well I could do that you know um, I have always What's weird is all these years, when I was like in the 8th grade, I had, uh oh, sorry, <laughs> my battery's getting low, so I'm going to have to plug that in, uh, this thing, but when I was in the 8th grade, my mother had, uh, we'd done a, um, I'm going to see if I can make this work, we were doing a bowling we were on a bowling tournament, and <clears throat> sorry, how loud that is. And we were on a bowling tournament, and so I said, "Well, well, all these years I had carried this bowling bag with me, and I was gonna maybe plug that in for me." <laughs> sorry. And he said, "I said, well, I could do that. You know, I could bowl with you. I have. Um, I think I cut that wrong." But I said, I have a bowling ball that I've been carrying around with me. You know, by this time, I had was in an apartment by myself and everything. And I told him, 
a bit. You know, let me think about it. It was a money situation. I mean, it wasn't that much. It was, what, $7 a yeah, week or something. But, you know, I was having to pay my own way now and stuff. And <clears throat> I'm going to use this for a thumb hole. Anyways, he said, would you bowl with me? And I said, well, let me think about it. And I got to thinking, and I went back to my friend. This is a different friend. And she said, uh are you gonna bowl with Clint you know and I said you know I think I've decided against it because you know I just didn't want to get involved or anything and so when he came in later that evening she, I was on the phone and she says oh she's gonna bowl with you and I got off the phone he's like you're gonna bowl with me he was so excited <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, because he was so happy I couldn't tell him no. <laughs> so we started bowling together. And he kept saying things like, oh, you know, if you need a ride from your home, I can pick you up and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm fine. And I was right around the corner from him. And I was like, oh, you know, it was snow on the ground and stuff. I could have used that excuse. But I said, nah, I'm fine. And, um... What ended up happening is we were bowling and I reached out and I gave him like a high five because he got a strike. And he and I both discussed this, even to this day, how, you know how you had that electric charge go through your hand? And we both felt it at the same time. And that's pretty much history. <laughs> From well, there. it went right to my heart. It instantly went up my yeah, heart. Yeah, Clint said it went heart. right to his heart. It and was the weirdest thing. Right after that, he's like, I mean, that same evening, he's like, hey, I'm going to come fix you dinner, and I'm going to do this and do this. And I was talking to my boss at work, and I'm like, you know, he kind of just invited himself to me and, or over to my house. And I went out, and I was, like, sweeping the parking lot or something. And he came over, and he used identical the words that I had used that I told my boss it was almost like he had overheard me say something it was crazy he's like I'm sorry if I you know invited myself over to your house <laughs> so then we went out on a couple of dates and I was actually contemplating moving back home to Texas uh, before all this happened and I had you know already bought my train ticket or my bus ticket and everything so we went to the bus <clears throat> so I went back to Texas and I knew that then that I wouldn't would not be staying there so when I came back we pretty much got married <laughs> yeah it <laughs> wasn't too long we... yeah we were I mean we knew each other from like November is when we really started meeting each other and talking to each other from November until Jan until February we started kind of dating around the end of January uh, 21 years ago so but yeah that's pretty much how we ended up together and his dad was not happy when we got married <laughs> and he actually he actually because I was 28 or 29 I can't remember and Clint was 30 and he act when he found out Clint had gotten married he actually called Clint's mother and said Lida because he said, um, what can we do about getting this marriage Hi, annulled? And Lida said, well, Roger, he's, our, he's 30 years old. <laughs> Let him live his life. <laughs> but I thought it was so funny that, you know, here Clint was 30 years old. And he's like, uh, how do we get this annulled? <laughs> Dad was, we had someone in our family. It was, it's not. Yeah, they had a really bad. Nice sister person. Yeah, his sister-in-law was very... It is still that Yeah, way. it's just not a nice person and, you know, vindictive, that kind of thing. And Dad so Dad kind of... Yeah, Dad was worried for him and it didn't take him long to fall in love with me. No. <laughs> well, we had a black cat named Pard and he did not like women. Yeah. And she came in there and sat down and... He went right up to her, and they were loving on yeah, him. Yeah, so this cat, he really did not like women. But when I went in, I just kneeled on the floor, and I'm like, come here. And he came over and just sat in my lap, and Dad's like, do you see this? 
<laughs> and I was, it didn't take long for me to get into the family, but everyone was upset that we didn't have a big wedding and all this, you know, but so his, it wasn't long. His, his mom, probably like two or three, maybe a month later, we'd actually just gotten our first kitty cat and his mom and uh, brother, sister-in-law, uh, my cousin, or Lisa. my nieces, they all came down to meet me because no one had met me, and so they made this big trip down, and everybody fell in love with me for the first time. I mean, mom said that she just knew that we were perfect for each other, pretty much, and I'm not exactly happy with that one. Sorry. Yeah, let's do that one. <coughs> But we just, you know, that's kind of how we met is, and what's funny is we both moved to the area around the same time, and he would stop often at this other gas station I used to work at, but I don't remember seeing him ever, and he doesn't remember seeing uh -huh. me, even though he would stop at the same time I was working and everything. Plus Bob, I knew Bob Yeah, and, and he knew my brother and my mother, but he didn't know me at the time. It was just a, you know, I know it was a God thing, but it was oh, just a weird coincidence kind of thing, and it was really, so when I went to Texas, and I'm talking, you know, about my sweetheart, uh, I told my brother, oh, he wears bibs, because he would always wear overalls, and uh, Jean's like, my brother's like, oh, I know who you're talking about, and they were so excited when they found out it was him, they all kind of agreed that, hey, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> so that's how we met I know some of you were asking how we met and that's pretty much how we met things moved pretty pretty quickly when we first got together when we first yeah and he when he would come to my house he's like you don't have a microwave <laughs> and you know I just never thought about a microwave and so he brought me a microwave and then he moved in and never left so yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it was a world whirlwind romance and people Funny people one. say it still is for us oh yeah they so. people always comment you guys are like newlyweds yeah we're like newlyweds because we yeah. always hold hands and i open the door for her yeah I so we just where we are you know it's been a wonderful 21 years and we don't argue pretty much what you see on here is what you see I mean, yeah. it's how it is, so. I'm going to see if this will fit. Oh, yeah. That looks kind of cool. So, anyways, that's... And I know I'm going to get some flack for rambling, but you know what? They kiss my butt. <laughs> <laughs> the ones who really want to hear, want to hear, and they've been with me a lot longer than that one or two people who don't really matter, so. No. Nope. But... We're just kind of having a rambling session today. <laughs> hey, you're getting stuff done. What does it matter? Exactly. Well, that's kind of pretty. Look at that. I love that. I wonder how much it takes. How it comes together. Yeah, it's just about dinner time. But yeah, we put the... We do ribs in the Instapot, and then you just for like 20 minutes or so and they are so good if you guys have never tried that you definitely should especially if you have an instapot I'm trying to decide if I wanted something behind that but I'm gonna just go with it Whoa. but we didn't get a lot done we got two done <laughs> tags to me take a lot longer than anything else so that's cute. How long have you been recording? Uh, for a while. Why? Oh, it's the potatoes are done. Yeah, they're probably done because on this time it's 21 minutes. If I get a hard so. party, you can Sorry, we're having a conversation about whether our potatoes are done or not. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. Sorry this wasn't... Whoa. Like I said, it was just a bunch of <coughs> chatting. I was thinking about putting something behind her.
Oh, I was talking to someone and they were interested in how I would use tool in some of my um, items or on some of my tags and stuff. So I'm kind of got a plan. Uh oh, sorry. Now they're not done. What was that? <laughs> my rubber made. Oh. It kind of fell over. Did you need it? No. Oh. It's empty. I just, um, it just fell. So. Where's your bowl at? I don't want one of those things. Where's what at? That bowl you had. The, the. I had. There oh. it is. The smart, where was it? Yeah. You want any or these mine? You can have them. Okay. I saved them for you. Thank you. Got the best wife ever. <laughs> yes, you do. Don't you forget it. Yeah. Not like I, I was like say not like I would let you. <laughs> this is true, babe. This is true. They were good now. I'm surprised. Do what? They weren't done yet. Huh. Yeah. But yeah, the ribs in the Instapot for about 25, 30 minutes. And then you just put barbecue sauce on them, pop them under the broiler, or in our case, I've been using the, um, air fryer and man they are so good and all you have to do is just pop them in there and you're done pretty much so especially if you have a wonderful husband that prepares them and removes the membrane and that oh, kind of yeah. stuff <laughs> uh, this kind of has something on it let's see if I can make it work though but yeah that was the long and the short story of our how we ended up together 21 years ago and like I said I kept saying I'm not going to get married again and I really feel like God had other plans because I would have missed out on a lot it's been it has been yep pretty let's just put a little bow around it and then we'll call this one done I think we'll finish up here like I said I just didn't have a lot in my brain today <laughs> no comment. no comment huh I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this I didn't make it long enough for a bow. Of course not, huh? Oh, so my plan initially was just to make a bunch of these. You know, but then I saw this um, alteration tag and I thought, you know, that'd be kind of cute to just add this to something else. But if you wanted to, you could just make a bunch of your circles. I think I'm just going to do like a little thing like that. A bunch of your circles and then just put them in your stash to use at a later time. Oh, that's neat. I like that. What do you think of it? Mm -hmm. so I have this one. There's a tuck spot here. And then decoration and then you can still write on the back and then this one yeah like so it. a little tag here that's funny boy that dumb grove ribbon sure gets i know you. this was just around some dish towels that we bought i tell you grove collaborative but i just really like it so and clint found it and says hey you got to save this so i did <laughs> So pretty much that is today's video. Sorry I didn't have like a more of a stash builder. It was more just a kind of ramble along kind of thing and see what happens. But, you know, we're still building our stash even if it's two tags at a time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We are putting up daily videos. And uh, give this video a thumbs up. We really appreciate you guys, and it really helps out our channel. 
and we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, everyone.